Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a quick review for you today on my Givenchy Antigona in the nano size. So here she is, this gorgeous little bag. Um, so I have it in the patent leather and obviously the pink rose gold. Um, so you can see there's the back of her and then the front and the only branding is the it's hard to see with the light and the reflection um the Givenchy right there so it has the classic Antigona style and then it's actually um more of like a gunmetal hardware it's silver but it's not it's like a pewtery um darker silver so not like a traditional super shiny silver and then obviously you can wear it as a little clutch or it comes with the strap which can be adjusted it has five holes there so you can make it a shoulder bag or a crossbody and i've been wearing it mainly crossbody um, because of the size so this actually confused me <laughs> when I first got it. You can see this is like the clasp of how it sits on. And then it actually on here, let's see if I can show you, there's like a little indent right there. So it hooks in right there. And that's how the clasp works. Um, so I have had a little bit of uh, annoyance, I guess, when the... Um, it'll like jiggle around and stuff and occasionally detach from there. I haven't ever had that issue when I'm wearing it, only when I've set it down. Cause I think when you're wearing it, the weight of the bag is enough that it um, keeps it in place. But sometimes for whatever reason, when here it is on the strap when i sit it down the sometimes it'll like wiggle only on one side really and it'll accidentally pop off and detach so that is something to keep an eye out on and i did sorry my dog sneezing in the background i did order from see it just popped off there um from etsy a chain hey um to go so I can carry it like on my shoulder more comfortably. Um, so I'll let you guys know probably on Instagram when that comes in if I like it. So let me show you. I'm actually gonna take this strap off so it doesn't jingle around and make noise. Yoing. So you can see the zipper is pretty big, honestly, and pretty puffy. And then nice zip. Here is the inside of the bag. So you can see right in there is the Givenchy. It just says Givenchy made in Italy. And then this is a little slot for cards or um, anything you might need to put inside. So let me show you. It's just a regular cloth interior. And let me show you what I have inside um, for carrying it around. So I have my Gucci wallet that I usually care um, carry. I could to um, a card holder to make it much slimmer, but I don't carry that much and I like to have all my cards with me in my wallet. So that fits in horizontally, no problem. And I could turn it vertically and just let it sit in the middle there. Either way is fine. And then I have my regular key fob and that just slits in. I don't have to get my key fob out. Um, when I just need it to be close to my car, so I don't really care if it just sits in the bottom of my bag. And then I usually carry a pen, just in case, you never know. AirPods, no problem. Then a hairband, some by Terry Balm de Rose, just in a more convenient travel size. And that's pretty much all I would carry on, um, like just going out running an errand. And then this is my work phone, but I am filming on my regular phone. So I wanted to show you, this is the iPhone um, SE. It's the same size as a seven or an eight, I think. So that obviously fits no problem. So you can see, I still have room in here. Um, I don't like to pack this bag too full because, because 
of the structure it's very structured so it can be kind of annoying if you need to dig around in here for something and that's kind of a uh, a pain point I guess with this bag for me at least is that this is very hard and I think it's due to the material that I got it in I'm not sure if the leather would be easier like if it would be more flexible to get in and out of and also if you know, over time it's gonna kind of soften, but I don't think with this material it really would. Um, but I do like the look of it. I like the fact that it's um, a solid color, but it's not, I would consider it a neutral, but it's still got a little bit of fun and pizzazz because of the um, rose gold color and the shine to it. It has got, you can see, I have worn this maybe three or four times and there already are some scratches on it. So the wear on it is not great, to be honest. Um, this is the first handbag I've owned from Givenchy. So I'm not sure if I just didn't do a good job choosing the material for me. I didn't want something that was, you know, I wanted something that was different than my other bags and that I could carry at night. And also I, a lot of the bags, I wear a lot of like bright colors or like patterns like this top. And so I wanted something that wouldn't compete with that. And sometimes I feel like, um, even you can see over here, like my Louis Vuitton canvas ones kind of compete. And in summer, I don't wear a lot of darker colors. So I didn't want to always have a black bag. Um, so I was kind of looking to fill a hole in my collection, but I'm not sure if I'm super sold on this bag and the material that I got it in. I will check the retail because I did get this off Saks and I think I used some points and stuff. Um, I'm so sorry about the dog. And so I will check and put the retail on the screen for you guys. Um, I think I paid, I know I paid under a thousand for it. I wanna say I, wanted, I paid like 850 for it. Um, so I'm not sure that I'm in love with it, to be honest. Um, let me know if you have the Antigona in this size. Is it, you know, I didn't get the right size. I didn't get the right material for me. What do you guys think? Um, have you had any quality issues with yours? Like all the stitching is really nice and even. Um, I love the minimalism of it because if you didn't know the Antigona style, you wouldn't really know that this is a designer bag. And I kind of like that because sometimes like, especially if I'm going into work or if I'm around, you know, if we're going to do something and it's not like, like church or stuff, I don't know. Sometimes I don't always want to carry a logo. Um, so that can be, you know, this is sort of nice and more dressy because I can just carry it as a clutch for a night out um, type thing, but I am still kind of on the fence, but I did want to give you guys a review of this bag. So let me know if you have any questions, if you have the Antigona in this size. Um, I know they have the Antigona baby, which is smaller than this. And honestly, I don't, I don't think you could go smaller than this, but then the next size up is quite a bit bigger. Um, so I think that this would be the size that I want because I don't, I don't wear, you know, I don't wear business dress. I work in IT, so I don't wear business dress when I go into work. Even when I am going into work, I primarily work remote now. Um, so I don't know if, you know, the regular, the bigger size I think would be a little bit formal for me. Um, just in terms of like what I wear on a daily basis. So, uh, that's my review of this bag. It's not, um, I love it, but I'm not, I love the look. I don't know if I love the functionality and I don't know if it's going to be a forever bag for me. Um, but let me guys, let me know guys, like what you think, if you have this bag, what your other, um, thoughts are, do you have something similar to, to this that would kind of fill that same hole in my collection where it could be converted tonight? Um, but still look really pretty during the day. And it's sort of like that pop of a neutral, but also gives you that little pop of something and you're not just carrying like a basic cream bag. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, please check out the other review that I did on the Louis Vuitton multi pochette and then let me know if there's anything that you want me to review in particular. I was thinking of doing one on my V-tote up there and I also just got it heat stamped so I can give you some feedback on how that process went for me. Um, and then I have a couple of other videos in the pipeline, but I wanted to 
hear your feedback on anything you might particularly want to see. All right. I hope you guys are having a good one and please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.